Good morning, Manchester United fans all around the world. Reds, how are you doing? It is Tuesday. Mick Ruby is back. And it's hard to keep up with everything that's going around Manchester United. And hence, my hair is starting to look like Mo Salah. <laughs> Mo Salah. Now, jokes aside, uh, we are here to talk about two top stories, to be fair, to be fair. And what's going on around Manchester United. It is confirmed that Eric Ramsey, the first team coach, has decided to depart Manchester United. It's been a club statement. But also, who are the two players that are ready to, you know, that Manchester United are ready to cut their losses guys sit back relax smash the like button we'll be back in 10 seconds let's do this has the premier league ever been more challenging i feel welcome uh, this is my home and i want to achieve success okay and success is what we want to achieve as well. And successful news is what we want to hear this morning. This is just a clip. And I'm starting to pin back my hair because I certainly don't want to look like Mo Salah. Let's get right into the news, people. Let's get right into the news. What's going on? Well, Manchester United has 100% confirmed on the club site as well that Eric Ramsey has departed. Who is Eric Ramsey? If you remember, it is our first team coach that has been there since 2021. I believe that he was brought in with uh, with the likes of Ralph Ragnick, and he's been there ever since. Ramsey, who remains uh, in his role, he will be there until the derby against City, right? United said it's uh, Ramsey responsibilities will be shared across the rest of the coaching team and for the remainder of the season. That was a club statement. That was a club statement, peeps. Now, what? Uh, what does it mean? Is it him being sacked or is it that, you know, the effect, knock on effect that we're feeling now with, you know, Sir Ineas or whatever you call them coming in and calling the shot or Dale Brailswell? Well, apparently not really. I mean, the, the club has announced that, announced the, that Ramsey has the second head coach in Minnesota. He will go to Minnesota, to MLS. That has been announced by Minnesota United FC website, February 26th. Meanwhile, while well, the statement released by Minnesota United, the MLS club announced that Ramsey is their new manager. Hmm. So that's the word. That's that, that one. Nip it in the butt. But seriously, um, he's been part of the coaching squad. It's been a, um, I don't know, man. I, 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 I believe that we had coach S still remaining from the past regime, the past managers. Set piece coach Benny McCarthy he ain't working. Um, set, set piece coach has been sacked. Benny McCarthy, according to my opinion, um, we should assess that as well. If we're doing a full overhaul, 100% you should do a new one. And people are been saying, What about Eric Ten Hag? Will his job be safe in the summer? Well, we will see. I mean, that is all down to Ineos and what they want to do, Brailsworth and Omar Barada and everything else. But if you look around, everyone is looking for a manager at the moment. Liverpool, Barcelona, Real Madrid potentially. I've never seen a, a season where the demand for a manager is going to be high. So we will see. But one thing for sure, one thing for sure, people, is this one. Let me put this to the stage. Manchester United is ready to cut on losses to listen to summer offers for mega money flops. Who are they? Well, <coughs> let's go over this story, people. This is paper talk, 100% paper talk. <coughs> Sorry, I'm crook a little bit. No other than Anthony Dos Santos. According to the Daily Mail, Manchester United will reportedly listen, listen to the offers for Anthony this summer after dismissal sim for more season as the winger the 20 year old of course according to my opinion he came on a mega signing 2023 2024 and that was kind of an eric T eric ten Hag signing and hasn't really worked out you know it's a flop you know anthony you know he has to be cut short in certain ways like you know he has not yet contributed one single shot or, or, or any goal contributions in 20 appearances, which is, which is kind of absurd given that the you know, club paid 86 million pounds in this season, which is the second most signing in the club's history. 
for a winger. And the same goes with Jaden Sancho. Same goes with Jaden Sancho, who is apparently not doing well either at Borussia Dortmund. And his coach has also been complaining. Right? So what is the solution, people? I don't know. But it is utterly, utterly waste of money. The woeful wingers cost a combined of 150, 159 million pounds together. And how will we recoup that? And the, 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 the money that they earn as wages. That is the big challenges, according to my opinion, what Ineos, Sir Dave Brailsworth, is expecting. But another thing is that it is more sensible to wait for Dan Ashworth to come in. And Dan Ashworth is said to be negotiated and done deal by this week, according to what the media is saying. It looks like United will pay up the ransom fee. I always said that the ransom fee will be about seven to eight, nine maximum 10 million that will pay out for him and plus the wages so that is to be witnessed and see when this comes out 100% uh, Fabrizio Romano has been reporting the same um, my close source contact saying the same um, why ransom fee well basically I call it ransom fee to pay out his garden leave and remaining of his um, what he called notice period you pay the money Newcastle will release him, so that means that he can start working before summer, maybe within three months. And that's where we are at the moment. And then, of course, we've been linked to Liverpool's head of recruitment as well. So we don't really know who the, I think it was, I can't remember, sorry, it's it's too much information going on in the world of Manchester United, but a structure is well needed. You know, you get the CEO and you get the sporting director, you get the head of development, and then you get the recruitment. And then we are ready to cook and assess what is going to be Ayrton Hag's role. Will it be staying? Will it be going? He's got one year left on his contract. I personally don't believe in sacking managers, but at the end of the day, getting into Champions League spots, meaning fifth, if we make fifth, we probably get into Champions League. That is such an important for this project to move forward. Because money, 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 money speaks. At the end of the day, guys, I want to hear from your opinions. What do you think? Should we cash in on Anthony Dos Santos? We paid 86 million for somebody that can spin but not put in the crosses. That has one foot, or actually two left foots, and a Jaden Sancho that keeps not delivering, to be honest. Even his head coach said in Borussia, that's the worst we ever see. Jaden Sancho. Anyway, the future is bright. We're playing football, of course. We have Eric Ten Hag's press conference and the head of, you know, the FA Cup. Uh, we're playing uh, Nottingham Forest, and we will be live covering this press conference. But until then, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Always interesting to hear your opinions. Take it easy, and we should see you to the next one. Bye for now. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching MEFC Realist TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the socials.